Hello farmers, my name is David Lowe. I'm an agronomist with Seedco and we are here today to talk about irrigation. We're going to cover irrigation scheduling, we're going to cover irrigating different soil types and we are going to cover the different methods of irrigation. In our previous episode we covered all the different things that we need to do between day zero and day 40 and within that irrigation played a very important part. From day 40 onwards is when we start our irrigation schedule. The most conventional way of scheduling is to use class A evaporation pan figures and to use a graph and it's a simple method whereby you draw your evaporation figures for every day and as soon as your evaporation pan figures hit the curve that means you can irrigate and when you irrigate you bring your evaporation graph right down and you start all over again. This is a classical method, it's an old method but not many people follow it because not many people have got class A evaporation pans or do they have access to class A evaporation pan figures. Therefore the most common method of irrigation scheduling is a fixed time period. The fixed time period is going to depend on a number of things. If you have a heavy red clay soil it means and if you are using overhead irrigation the most common cycle that is used is 44 millimeters per cycle and generally speaking this will be put on every 12 days remember we start scheduling irrigation at 40 days after planting so from 40 days onwards you now start with your fixed uh, fixed day schedules if you are on a sandy soil you would put on less you would put on say 35 millimeters and you would come around sooner say at nine days per cycle and if you are using center pivot you would put on small amounts of irrigation for example 22 millimeters and you would come around even sooner between five and seven days so these would be fixed day cycles. It is always a good idea to use an auger to see what is going on in the soil. And the recommended method is to auger before an irrigation and two days after an irrigation. Sampling before the irrigation will show how deep the roots have gone and where they are drawing moisture from. And then the auger sample two days after irrigation will show you whether the irrigation you have applied has brought the field to field capacity. We always want to put on somewhere in the region of 450 to 600 millimeters of water onto our field. And whatever we do, whatever method we use, we always want to make sure that we are within those parameters. The next thing we need to consider is when to stop our irrigation. To do this we need to look at the peduncle. The peduncle is the little part of the stem below the ear and when those peduncles turn yellow that shows that the ear has had enough nutrition, has taken up enough water and is not going to take up any more, more water and that is an indication that that is the time to put on your last cycle. You should not go beyond that. Thank you for watching and this is all we have for you today in this episode. Please look forward to our next episode where we will be talking about irrigation scheduling. Remember it starts with the right seed. Seedco, the home of bumper harvest.